Uh, Paul Goodman, why did your party claim that one of these schools wasn't registered when it was? Well, I'm not sure that you're right about that, uh, because the, well, we registration, the, the, registration that concerned, the registration concern was not on the main education department website. What, what do you mean is you couldn't find it? No, it was not on the main website. The website that your reporter was referring to a few moments ago was a different website. Now, I think we ought to get off these trivialities of the site and go to the main fact, which is right. this. But a charity... No, 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 I just no, I, no, a charity no, no, controlled the by an extremist the organization is, I'll ask you some questions. by Ed Balls' department. Thank and you I think you should ask him about that. I shall do in a second or two. Thank you very much. Let's go on with a few of your other inaccuracies first, shall we? Why did you claim the schools hadn't been inspected when as they I had just, been? As I just said a moment ago, our main claim has been triumphantly vindicated today, your, which is that your, charity, one of your, hang on a, a minute, charity my question was, why did you claim they had not been inspected when they had? in Afghanistan has been uh, funded right. by Ed Ball's department. Why did uh, Mr. Cameron claim that these schools had received money from the Preventing Violent Extremism Fund when they had not? David said that they'd received money from a pathfinder, which was absolutely accurate. And yet again, I'm afraid Ed Balls is throwing up chaff here, which is reflected by your program. Uh, the main even, point, the main point, hang on a second, which is an incredibly serious point, yet, I've asked which is an incredibly, well, to putting out a lot of spin today, which I think is being reflected by your line of questioning. As I say, the main question really is this, a charity controlled by an extremist well, organization that supports attacks on our troops in Afghanistan, and your program mentioned Afghanistan, have been funded by his Perhaps department. You could and calm I think you down could a little bit. You could answer a straight question, but uh, you're obviously not going to I've do answered, so. I've answered both your questions so far. The well, first was inaccurate. Well, you have not. Uh, right, Ed Balls. Can you say that his... Go on, then. What do you can be fair to him. Go on. Look, 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 um, Paul's been, I think, given a hospital pass. Um, I think it's really unfair to put him in this position, really. Um, uh, he probably didn't even know these questions were going to be made in Pharmacist Questions. And spare as the crocodile tears, come on. Um, I knew perfectly well. His substantive point, leaving aside the myriad inaccuracies in the attack, his main point is... What is taxpayers' money doing being given to schools which have any association with Muslim extremists or any other kind of extremist? The claim, as you said, was that it was prevent money um, from the pathfinder. In fact, it was free care for three and four-year-olds. Any, any kind of money at all, I think taxpayers would like to know. But look, if it was the case and the allegations were true, even if it was the case that there was a clear link between his maturia and this foundation, which there even is. if there is, school, there, there, is, is, there is, there is, even if these schools, there is, as you know, there is, even if these schools were not inspected and were promoting extremism, to have raised it in the House of Commons in the way David Cameron did would have been inflammatory. But to do so on the basis of a whole series of facts, which are the false, is, I think, it's deeply common ground, common apart sense. from with Mr. Deeply Goodman, but there were factual inaccuracies there were. in what they said. There were. But the basic point is that you are giving taxpayers' money to schools which have associations with Islamic extremists. Well, look, there is no evidence um, for that. And if the evidence was there... <laughs> what do you mean there's no evidence no, And if David Cameron had provided that information... Look, in 2007, this story was written in the Sunday Times of, of the potential of links between his Patria and um, this foundation, we sent him... When the, the headmistress is writing stuff. articles for his Hizbuturia magazine, right. that's not evidence. That, Absolutely. Um, to be honest, Hizbuturia, Turia, in my view, is a, um, a bad organisation. I've seen some of the material... Why there, don't you ban it, then? Well, and the BMP is also, in my constituency, a very populous and very awful organisation. So there's some equivalent. But we don't the ban the BMP for having teachers who are also well, currently teaching in schools, although I'm looking well, to see whether we should. Why does Tony Blair but, want to ban it then? Well, look, if the, the legal position is clear, if there is evidence under the Terrorism Act that hits Bateria is promoting terrorism, it would be a prescribed organisation. But that evidence hasn't been provided. It's not been provided by Paul or by David or by anybody. Ooh, uh, uh, to uh, be honest, uh, if we could get that I evidence, we could okay, so this organisation. Come on, a good Come on, Paul Goodman. I'm surprised Ed's asking me to provide the evidence when he knows perfectly well what the evidence is. We know perfectly well that the person who headed up this charity, the main trustee, has spoken on his book to rear platforms. We know her husband is the main media operator for his book to rear in the UK. And we know that the lady who you've just shown was a member it's of it's his book to rear at the time the grant was given. So how Ed can defend this is absolutely is there extraordinary. And can be provided. So the legal the evidence, evidence is, is that the evidence that we've provided is not 
Absolutely, to, to prescribe. But the issue here is what? that a very divisive allegation was made about two schools which yeah. splits communities, which divides our country on the basis of false allegations. So the that is totally People work hard politics. to earn money to pay taxes, mm -hmm. which you then choose to give to schools which are run by people of this Jeremy, kidney. Jeremy, I'm giving money for th three, three and four year olds um, care. These are independent schools. The question is, were the schools That's promoting fair. terrorism or extremism? We've sent in the, well, the, the, the Ofsted advisors who've gone in and said no. I've looked across the curriculum, the evidence was no. In the last few weeks, before Michael Goh's letter, Haringey and Slough both went to, to the schools, looked at the facts, and Haringey had suspended the funding while they investigated this. There was no evidence that extremism was being promoted. What you can't do is... that policy now being restored? Um, not yet. That's a matter for Haringey. They're waiting for the final assurances. That's exactly the right thing to do, the responsible thing to do. The responsible thing for David Cameron and Michael Gove would have been to check the facts with me before they made smears and allegations yeah. which divide our Paul communities and not check the facts. Well, if, Ed, if, Ed, if Ed would care to put the facts into the public domain, we'd be delighted to check them. For example, I'd like to know why Sorry, the emergency... I put the facts in the public domain and you put smears and untruths into the public domain. Right, if you put all the facts in the public domain, can you explain why the emergency, invest, the emergency report into the Haringey School, carried out by Austin, has not been published? And will you commit now on television to publishing it? Paul, straight question, go on. I sent it to Michael Gove in the middle of the afternoon. And it has not, not been will published. It has not been published. Publish it, will you? Sending, it's, it's sending something to Michael Gove isn't publication. In the and if Paul had been so fully briefed, if Paul had been briefed for the interview, it's been in the public domain. He's right. It's he's taken the Conservatives raising us no. in the House of Commons exactly to get so. you to publish exactly it. Exactly. No, so. no, no, Paul just said, would I publish it? The answer is I already have. He's rushed it. Oh, no, I will explain to you. He rushed it out this afternoon because we'd ask some questions. Why did you only do this afternoon? When you have an, an independent school, with its first inspection, the old practice was not to publish it. That has changed in the last year and a half. Apparently it changed in the course of this afternoon. No, because, because well, that was inspected, it this afternoon? It was inspected in 2007, 2008. At that time, the Ofsted rules were not to publish. When I looked at that, I said, it's fine, we'll publish it. It's been published for eight hours and Paul doesn't even know. So you haven't seen it till today? Um, I'd seen it, it hadn't been published into the public domain, but it makes clear that I commissioned the inspection in 2007. There were allegations about the promotion of extremism were not founded according to Ofsted okay. in both schools. And look, the fact is that if Paul, um, you know, um, I'm not sure that, uh, that Paul even knew about this, if Michael Gunn certainly had did. checked his facts, if David Cameron had contacted me to know about the facts before he made allegations, we wouldn't be in this mess. Right. That is not the way to do politics, and most importantly, Jeremy, it's no way to do government. I think it's uh, real doubt on David Cameron's judgment. Well, the audience will form their own judgment. They about it. Thank you very much. Now, nuclear power is the future.